Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Foundation, uh, genuinely one of my favourite games to keep coming and poking my head into uh, whenever they have a major update. Uh, 1.8 came out towards the end of last year, just haven't uh, really got around to having a look at it yet, but we're going to dive in now. One of the big features you can probably tell from looking at this screen is a fantastic new UI um, and loads of other stuff as well uh, as it heads towards the, um, the full release maybe this year. I don't know, but I, we always have fun in this one. Uh, I'm going to dive in with a new game. I'm trying to think. I think I think we've done. We normally do Valley, or mm, which one is it? And it's called Valley Map. Is a sinuous river through lush hills. I think maybe hills is one we normally do. Dense forest, green pressure, rain, and I'm saying no other. Habits of fishing can make it more challenging. Yeah, no, I definitely think we want fishing. I think coastal is new. Coastal map has it all. Delicate beach front coves protected by cliffs. Whilst inland, the rolling hills and plains are ideal for settling and farming. Well, that sounds fun. Um, uh, should we enable all the mods? Yeah, okay. Is that a good idea? Yeah, let's see. It might crash. We'll find out. Yeah, didn't like the mods, but that's fine. We we'll want to have a look at uh, how the game's settled on its own now anyway. Uh, remember, if you do enjoy this one, go ahead and give the video a like. It really does help out, and I uh, appreciate you all giving me support as I make it back to YouTube. It's the first video I've recorded in my new apartment. Um, everything's going pretty well, although, you know, it's uh, obviously very hectic and expensive to move uh, with that in mind if you do enjoy the content here make sure you head over to patreon.com slash geekism uh, a dollar a month is uh, is all you need to become a patron of the channel less than a coffee a month and you would not believe the support it does for the channel uh, it really does basically literally pay the bills uh, and i appreciate every single one of you who supports me over there introduction welcome to foundation help uh, look at the ui it looks gorgeous last time this was all sort of naff text and stuff, but this is really, really great. I don't think we're going to go through all this. I'm going to see how we get on figuring it out. Um, I wonder if, do we still have to, did I pick that one? I may not wanted to have picked that one, although it's not terrible. That sort of rolling valley is a bit of a funk. I was thinking maybe this valley might have been a slightly more enjoyable start, although... We have to keep our eyes out for these minerals now as well. Look, so there's a lot of gold over there. Uh, what else have we got over here? Hmm. That, see, that to me just looks idyllic. There is stone over that way. And there is some kind of mineral over that way. Yeah, I think I would have liked to have started here, really. I think I randomly picked this place and it really isn't great. Okay, let's try that again. We can't quite get down to the river, uh, down to the, the beach even, but that's not a terrible start. It's got some stone, it's got some berries, it's got a lot of trees. Um, let's have a look. A start right on the water would maybe be slightly better, but it doesn't look... It doesn't look like that's going to be an option. Uh, no, I think I think we can start in the valley over here. I think that's a it's probably not the best sort of from a military standpoint, but I uh, but yeah, I like it. Mineral deposits were discovered nearby. Yes, they were. Okay, so we've got lots of trees to get us started. Uh, stone and fruit. Uh, okay, village center. All right, so where's our build menu now? Down here, build village center so this is going to become sort of key point in the village later on so i think we'll go right here because i do want to work down towards the uh for the beat down towards the beach uh ready to build build then look at that and they're off look at that we've got eight folks starting off that's pretty good um builder's workshop is going to be needed because without a builder's workshop we can't build anything can i remember how any of this works uh, uh, left, left click and drag to rescale apart. Right click to delete, hold control and horizontal to rotate. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, where is the front of this building? Uh, there. Well, we'll build that there for now. Whoop. Ready to build. Go ahead. And I think we get that for free. Yeah, there we go. And then that unlocks the ability to build all of these. Um, so granary, I'm not too worried about market. Lumber camp, stone cutter. And where's the gathering hut? There we go. Those are the ones we need to start with, really. So we'll get a gathering hut there. Um, lumber camp can come a little this way. Uh, oops. Yeah, lumber camp can be over here. 
Or do we try and keep all of the camps over here so that we can build housing up this way? Huh. No, I think we'll go. I think we're going to go there with this build. Uh, so at this point, we need to give people jobs. So no workers assigned. Ah, here we go. Yeah, three of you now builders. And which three is it? Those three. And I'm hoping they will go and start with the gathering. We've got lumber over there. Let's get some stone as well. Um, yeah, I mean, build it. So, do we still have... Yes, we do. Okay, so extraction is going to be for the stone and the berries, right? Allows wood cutting, stone cutting, and berry. Uh, okay, oh yes, that's everything. Okay. So, control the mouse wheel to make this bigger, because we really want to get, I mean, just everything out of here. We just want to absolutely deforest the area. I know in real life that is obviously terrible. But here, it's going to be the way to go. And then we'll reforest up this end, I think. We'll say that can be the reforesty area. Although I don't think that will deal, do much just now. Uh, lumber camp is built. That's good. Let's get uh, three of you on. Actually, no, we'll have to get two of you on there, won't we? We need to get rid of one of you. There we go. Because we need two there. We're going to really need a couple of you on here as well. We get eight people. Three, four, five, six, seven only one on the stone that's probably okay to start off with I think because we're not going to need as much stone as we are with the wood and the, and obviously the food uh, we do have the quest to produce berries to prevent hunger and starvation we'll need to secure a basic source of food and I'm wondering hmm, I think it's going to take two hexagons to get to the water this one this one might just get to the coast because they don't need to be in the hexagon to get the fish the, just that the the fishing camp itself needs to be in there. So we might just get to the beach with that one. Uh, produce berries complete. That's what we like. Uh, that's still waiting for a builder. That's fine. Love the new UI. Really jumping out at me. Uh, so stock your resources. Build a granary. Assign a new transporter. And assign berries to the granary. Okay. Um, all right, well, that's what they want us to do. I guess we have to. I didn't really want to put a granary down so quick because they uh, they are big buildings that require a good chunk of space, to be honest. Uh, let's go there. Ready to build it? Build it. That's good that we can place it and not actually start building until we know that the resources are there um can we what's this daily average bad we're losing nine to construction of course because we're not making anything we're not selling any berries yet are we um we can speed the time up a little bit I think that's probably a way to go stone cutter is built one of you gets to be stone cutter i'm afraid just the one because one of you's going to, have to be a transporter so we'll probably have to either take a builder or a woodcutter off maybe Woodcutter. I hope you folks that are just standing around here are just resting. I am well, yeah, they were just on their free time. That's fine. I don't mind you having a bit of a chill. Standing around the middle of the the village for zero reasons. Um But if I mean if anyone wants to come in Ah, of course we were waiting for stone, there we go. We were waiting for stone, we've only got one stone cutter. Well in that case uh, let's, uh, Aloof, you get to have a change of career, as do, oh, we've only, only got two there, actually, okay, well, it is what it is then. There we go, let's get two of you. Now, I don't believe this resource ever goes away anymore. I, I think it used to originally, at one point in the game, that the stone did actually disappear, uh, which made it, made it very tricky, because you had to make sure that you built enough to farm out. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm making things up. I don't know. A lot of guys hanging around. But, you know, they've got to get their rest. And until they get houses, uh, it is going to be tricky. I think we, I'm guessing we still have the uh, surf. Yeah, so surf population. I don't think surfs actually need houses, do they? Uh, happiness is at 0%. They need water and they need food. Well, we'll get the granary built. 
because despite us having food, um, they don't actually have a way of uh, accessing it because they need the market to do it. Oh, here we go. So this is how we can trade. Oh, this is how we can trade out items. Here's our. Oh, this is so good. My village. Let's not call it my village. Let's call it Geeton. Um, confirm. Let's not call it Lord Unknown. Lord or Lady. Oh, I see. Lord or Lady. Let's call it. Oh, well, I'm Lord Jonty, aren't I? I mean, it's as simple as that. Lord Jonty. That's like. Have you seen that thing where you can buy a, a square of land, like a square foot of land in Scotland, and become a lord? I think. I, I think it's a load of rubbish used to get money out of American tourists. But you know, it's kind of neat. Uh, so now we can assign berries to there and we have no available villagers so where have we got everybody we have two foragers we have two miners we have two wood cutters and we have two builders hmm where can we manage without i think it's gonna have to be woodcutter just for a little while because that's the definitely the biggest stock we have um but now we can put a transporter on there and they'll start moving berries from the berries unit, berry unit, excuse me, all the way over here. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember rightly, ah, they kind of put them inside. That's neat. Before, they had, there was like four squares and they kind of put them in the four squares. But if that's an actual change, I, I kind of dig that. Uh, fill the needy newcomers, build a well, build a market, assign a new market tender and sell berries in the market. All oh, right, it's all standard stuff. Um, definitely how we've done it before does oh look at the bridge these are great look at this and if there's any new buildings probably not so early on but I'm looking forward to being able to build up all of these again well um, I would like this to go away this building can't be destroyed huh I always thought it could maybe it can't until we've got another type of resource building perhaps Hmm, huh. wasn't sure whether there was a different type of resource building. Church, manor, stone, mason's hut, charcoal, iron. Huh. I guess it just always has to be there. Well, that's fine because luckily it is just a couple of crates. So we can make it look like there's just stuff next to the well. One reason I really do enjoy this game is the modularity of the larger buildings like the churches and the manors and things that we'll see a little bit later on probably not this episode it does take you a little while to get set up but also just the fact that you can overlap stuff like here you know we've got the the wagon there from the from the builders is cutting over here i just think it's really neat how we can always always make it look like a, a little shanty town you know uh it's one of my favorite it really is the favorite thing about this game is the is the modularity and the really sort of organic nature of how the uh of how the cities turn up so now we are making uh oh we're getting oh we get money off quests okay that's neat uh, but we also should start soon once we have the market we should start soon having uh value come in from the um from the berries as well i'm going to start the market here i think i think that just tells us where we need to start it um there, where's the front there's the front does it have to all be in Okay. Mm, it's not quite where I want it. Maybe if we do that. Yeah, that I'm definitely more interested in. 100% um, need a tent over it. There we go. Red. I think red to start off with. Oh, God. Ah, they're much bigger than I remember them being. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, the thing is, that is as bad as close as I want it. We will have to come back with that market, I think. Definitely have to come back to that market and add in the stuff later on. Uh, for now, we'll click build. We've definitely got the wood for it. The well is up and running. So they're happy about that. Um, they're not making babies yet. I mean, they haven't got a roof over their heads. You know, these folks have got priorities. You know what I mean? They are. They want to get fed. They want to get watered. They want to get dry. And then they go to Bang Bang Town. I, I don't know. Sorry. It's 
it's not really my area. Um, <laughs> here comes the market town. Uh, yeah, because I always like to do the market around the well. I know it's a bit cliche, but I just enjoy it. Um, somebody's going to have to come off a job. We only have one there. We only have... So we do have two builders, and we're probably not going to be... I think they build their own houses. I'm sure they build their own houses. What do we have a load of? Berries. Okay. For now, Gwilen, you are no longer a forager. You are now selling the berries that you once picked. So we now sell berries. So we get 100 gold straight off that, which is pretty good. But we should now... Fill the needs of your complete. Yeah, we should now start to uh, raise your happiness of the village to 100. That should fly up as soon as everyone starts get, coming to get some berries. Paying the city, by the way, for the berries that they have picked themselves. I mean, if this isn't the cushiest job in the world, this Lord Lord uh, Jonty of Geekton, I mean, it really doesn't get better than this. They do all of the work. And then they give me money for the trouble. It's incredible. There we go. The market's starting to bring a little bit of cash now. Um, and uh, the happiness is almost at 100. I, we need one more person to uh, to eat some berries or get rested or something. I don't know. Let's have a look. Their happiness is 100% because they don't actually require comfort or service because uh, they uh, service. Oh, that's like religion. Yeah, there we go. We encourage immigration. I, I really hope we start getting a few people come to join us now, but I do feel like maybe we need to um, we need to start developing a house. We can't, still can't do it. I mean, the, the the game is waiting for us to do it. Quest earns us two hundred. The market earns us sixty three. Construction upkeep. There we go. So previous month was sixty five. This month we're raking it in. These berries are just like worth their weight in gold. The kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlements. I am but your humble servant. Uh, will give us is that coin? Oh, is ah no, these are the upgrade points, right? Promote your first newcomers, unlock a warehouse. There we go, warehouse. That's what gets rid of the village, I believe. So what's this? Village unemployed. Ah, we can definitely do something about that. Uh, housing is low. I assume we can now paint a housing area. Yes, we can. Okay. So can we? Can we buy land yet? Because I really feel... Territory, is that it? Zero free territory to redeem. That costs us 500 coins and 10 a week in taxes. But this one does get us down to the water. So I think we've got to go for it. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Oh, we, oh, look, we're three coins off. <laughs> Let's wait for somebody to buy some berries. H hurry up, someone, and buy berries. We need to buy land, because that's how life works. <laughs> Come on, our money is dripping away. Somebody eat. Somebody eat the berries. You know you want to. Eat the berries, somebody, please. They've all run off, look. They can hear me. Okay, they're buying berries. Good. And we'll do... There we go. <laughs> I mean, real, real teeth skin of our teeth that was then okay so first things first i want to clear all of the beach out with tr and trees and stuff so i'm actually going to build well we need to give them the housing area don't we i think they might actually see desirability is low but that's only because there's not really much around there will be once we're done trust me trust me so all of this area here Oh, they've jumped at that spot. I mean, I can imagine they would, yeah, because it's nearest the market, but that's fine. They can move out that way as they go. We'll let them all build houses. Two people are unemployed, so let's uh, give a builder a job. And we're going to need the wood, so let's give a woodworker a job. Everyone's now working. 60% happiness. Some need comfort, some need service. That's fine. Uh... Promote your first numbers. Build a Lord Manor. Assign a Great Hall function at the start of the month. Promote a village. Okay, so we're a little way off that, I feel. We can do the warehouse. Pay labor influence. Yeah, labor influence will unlock the warehouse in the book. So let's have a look at the book. Estates tab. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, wow. This looks great now. We have four labor influence. We have four kingdom influence as well. 
but we can't even start on that. But we can do a warehouse and a bailiff off if sign a function assignable to building parts allows you to name a bailiff who can fulfill various uh, mandates for the village. Okay, well, it's got to be warehouse. And I suppose might as well do bailiff. We're going to work through all of them, aren't we? Um, warehouse, use of storing and trading resources of type luxury, material, goods. Uh, resource material goods and luxury okay uh, unlock a trade route to get tools okay okay uh, let's get some of these houses popping up first I'm more than happy to let them do that and what I think I might do as well actually is move the well down to right where these are locate building <coughs> excuse me one thing still can't be done by those things is actually moving buildings I don't mind that. I don't think it's a feature that we're missing. I think it's just that's how they've decided the game's going to go. Um, but what we will do is put a well there, build it, and then we'll destroy that one. I think, do we get anything back for that? I'm not sure. There's a village of unemployed. So who's that? Was there somebody working the well? Um, we have kind of plenty of everything, really. So I suppose we just throw, well, we have another transporter, but we've got absolutely nothing for them to worry about yet. Uh, yeah, let's get some food. I mean, worst case, we're getting food stocked up, right? Okay. Nobody's unemployed now. Everyone's starting to get all right. Well, water, yeah, that's, you know, the water's on the way. I know we're working on that. Um, so comfort, I think that's housing and everyone should be housed. There are 11 people. Huh, newcomers. What, we had one more person to show up. Um, that's good, I suppose. What does that do? Population, immigration enabled, upgrade housing, densification. Less houses to increase density, thus permitting them to be rebuilt with a high capacity. Well, conditions are met, such as homeless villages to fill out. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Build, build away. Build away. Well built. Oh no, well built. Okay, cool. So everyone should be a little happier now about water. That should start to go down over time. Service, can we do? Can we deal with service yet? Do we have a rustic church? We do have the ability to make a rustic church and also a Lord Manor. I feel like I'm going to be a benevolent god, uh, um, Lord, excuse me, and make it so that uh, our people have the um the people we have are pretty happy before we start to worry about bringing in new people so with that i think we'll start off with a little church just here we're going to keep it super simple it's a little bigger than i remember it being as is this game to be honest i my my scale is a little off but i think there just up against the edge of the sand is probably not terrible we're going to keep this super, super simple. But look at this. This is the first time you're you're getting a chance to see the modularness of this. And I just love it. Um, I think it needs a tower, doesn't it? I can't quite remember how to add a tower. I think, it, I think we do that and lift it up, don't we? There we go. And then we can pop it in. I just want it there. It's, got to be, it's a bell tower, isn't it? I mean... That is the one we use, isn't it? There we go. Not quite get it centre, but so look at that. Yeah, I say that's a pretty solid tower. We'll pop a cross on the top there. So we have a core, we have a door, we have a bell. Oh, they are literally the three things we need. Okay. And in that case, I'll say that's good to go. Ready to build these twenty-four stone, fifty-four wood. And 12 tools. We only have 10 tools. Ah. So. Okay. They can start the process of that. But now we do need to look at the um, at the at the warehouse. The, oh, this is the one I'm thinking of. The warehouse, yes. I knew one of them had like a grid at the back of them. And that one we can build. I wonder if there's like a priority. Yes, there we go. Prioritize the construction of that, please. Because until we get a trade route set up for tools, we've got no chance. I think we can make our own tools eventually. I'm pretty sure the blacksmith has that ability. But yes, to start off with, the way the game 
sort of introduces you to trade routes is that um, is that you've got to get a trade route set up for the tool. So I think we'll do that and maybe get the little church done. If we can get the little church done this episode, I will call that a win. All right, spot the limb mistake. This one needed planks and not wood, and planks are processed wood, so we needed to build the sawmill, uh, which turns two wood into two planks every time somebody comes in as a good old smack at their wood. I heard it. I heard it as I said it. I'm sorry. Um, so they're cracking on with planks, which will get this built. I'm going to guess this is probably planks as well. Yeah, and they're going to have all the stuff they need. It actually only needs 11 tools now. Huh? Did we need did we use tools somewhere else? I guess we probably maybe did. Huh. All right. Well, the warehouse is working. We have two people without a job, so we'll put them on there and we'll assign a resource. So, the way this works, I think, is we can put uh wood, planks, stone and tools. So, wood, planks, stone, tools okay now if i remember right we're gonna i think we do trade somewhere else don't we so they can go there uh let's see if i remember how this works i mean it'd be a little different now maybe but trade here we go so water's infinite yes so it's tools there we go and i think it's buy until inventory reaches value okay yes so let's set tools to 15 and then buy until inventory reaches value. Uh, and then we'll set stone oops, to 50. Because that seems to be where we're hovering in the minute. Uh, we'll set wood to 50. And we'll set planks to 50 as well. Despite we haven't got many now, that's because pretty much every, we've been used, building with them as they've come in. We'll set those to 50 and then sell all. So basically, we'll always keep a stock of 50. Any more than 50 people can take. We have, see, what's that 64? We have 113. Is that just because that's how many are stored? In that case, we can probably say that anything over 100 currently, oh, that jumps up quicker. <laughs> anything over 100 currently, we can trade out. So we'll say 100. Sell all above the value. Water, I just I can't imagine anyone wants water seeing as it's infinite anyway. Trade routes. Okay. So at the minute still with this in there's still nobody's buying anything. Okay. That's just saying what we can and will sell. So here they want to buy polished stone, planks, wine, and berries. Um Davenport wants to buy fish barrels candles okay uh but they we need one that's they're selling tools that's the important one so the only thing we're really going to make off them is berries and planks but it's something right um they don't have anything that we make at the minute because we don't really have much of the advanced stuff at the minute so pretty sure it's northbury um we need 20 planks to unlock the trade route um so either are we just, because we're going to be using them over here, aren't we? Yeah. So we're nearly there with those. I don't think we're going to get the church done this episode, unfortunately. We'll start off next week, uh, next episode, sorry, with the with the church finished up. But yeah, as soon as we've got the planks there, we'll set up that trade route. Uh, and then we're cooking on gas. We'll get some tools coming in and we'll really start to go. But episode one, that's a bad little start. And also, can I just say, what a pretty game. I mean, I... I I know some people aren't a huge fan of the um, of the art style of this game. It is absolutely dunking my biscuit. Honestly, I am. It's just right for me. It's just right. I think it fits the style and the uh, and the sort of tenor of the game perfectly for me. Uh, I love how stuff gets built. I love how the little folks just sort of potter about. I'm guessing all these people don't have homes yet because they're not serfs. They're still newcomers. As soon as they become serfs, they get their homes built. But, ah, oh, what a cute game. We'll come back in the next episode. We'll get this church built, and we'll go on from there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good. Bye.